I had assumed that as long as the market was held within the walls of the priory and the taxes supported the construction of our cathedral, Kingsbridge would need no market license. I had made a foolish mistake. Now I had no option but to call on King Stephen for help. And as Aliena suggested, I joined the knights on their way north to Lincoln. Then he turned. He made a mistake. <laughs> Silly old Philip. More and more men joined our group. Most of them had no horses and no weapons to speak of. As King Stephen prepared for his final battle against Robert of Gloucester, he had ordered all able men of his earldoms to fight in the north. Then, at nightfall, our group reached a large camp of Stephen's men. Many men asked me to pray with them. They were husbands, fathers, and children about to fight in a war that most of them did not understand. It was then that I witnessed Aliena's brother Richard shouting at a man. The man was in tears, saying he did not want to fight and begging to be allowed to go home. Hmm. Okay. I told Richard to have pity. Full of anger, he told me that he would hang deserters himself if need be. Then the man interrupted us by shouting infamities about Robert of Gloucester and started to laugh. Richard and his knights joined in and began to cheer for the king. Richard seemed to me just as desperate as the young man, but he did not know it. Richard's a bit, I don't know, he's, he's got a bit of a screw loose, he's lost it. His temper would not make him a just earl, I thought. But again, I hoped to see a cruel man win his battles, only to defeat a man more cruel than him, William Hamley. After a long first day on my way to Lincoln, I found a place to rest. I fell asleep soon and dreamed about soldiers. But these soldiers were not on their way to Lincoln. Mm. They had come up the twisting hillside path to our little hamlet in North Wales. My brother Francis and I had tried to outrun them and to warn my parents. But as always when I had this dream, we were too late. King Henry's men had killed Mam and Da. Abbot Peter came to take us in, just as it had happened so long ago. But this time, in my dream, something was different. I was six years old then, and Abbot Peter had not yet taught us about God. But still, I asked the monk the question, why did God do that? I had said that. It had been my voice answering the child. It was me. I was responsible for the fate of these children, Richard and Aliena. As I tried to calm them, I realized the blood of their father was still on my hands. I awoke with a start. It was as if my dream had not been a warning, but a reminder. I had sinned, and I had to atone for my sins. Mm. I prayed that I would be able to help those that had already suffered by my hand. Poor Philip. And all of Kingsbridge. Poor old Philip. After what felt like an eternity, the sun rose and we continued on our way to Lincoln. As we moved, I remembered hearing that Bishop Waleran had been to Rome, and William had fought in the Holy Land. I told myself that King Stephen would eventually see these men for what they really were. He had to. And I tried to convince myself that God would make things right. Meanwhile, You are late. Ooh. Is it done? 
Yes, my bishop. Alistair Monk went to kill Tom Builder. Their builder is dead. What about the saint? I couldn't get into their crypt unseen. You disappoint me again, Timothy. Please, when did I ever fail you before today, right reverend? Regan Hamley is alive. <laughs> she didn't. Take care, no. nice noodle. And Your poison soon. has left her in a deep sleep. When the time is right, I will send our Earl of Shiring to finish what I asked of you. Kingsbridge will fall. Ooh. A great beast. What? Okay. The great beast! Hurry up, my friend. Or do you not want to see our king after all? <sighs> I fear I must. Then let's not waste more time. Come on, Philip. I've asked King I have to ask King Stephen for a market license. I have to. Right. Better not get too close. What? I better not get too close. I thought we had to, thought we had to speak, go to the castle. I guess not. This things are doing. It's doing good. Where um, do we find King Stephen? Who's asking? Richard of Kingsbridge. <laughs> I've heard of you. Good things, I hope. Maybe. You can go inside the cathedral. Where are all the knights and soldiers? <laughs> I should go first. The diagnosis will be a shame if someone this is a house of God. Signs a license. As if he does assign a license. Only two more days. If they know what's good for them, they'll surrender. I'd be disappointed if Maud would give up so easily. My king! You have my sword! Good! Who is that? Richard of Kingsbridge. Him. Hmm. Hmm. Now, what about those archers out there? What about those archers out there? Where is Alonso? Is he still not here? No. He joined one of the other groups because you wouldn't stop arguing. Maybe it's for the best, then. I doubt it. I only wish your sister had tried to keep you two from quarrelling. I had hoped she would be a better diplomat. She? Don't make me laugh. And now stop whining. We will go into battle Early soon. Contact. For the Uh-oh. king! Silex. Her for the because king! Well, we tried for five minutes, then gave up, because I couldn't be asked. Um, we, gave it, we gave it five minutes trying, then it was like, no, I can't be asked. Father, I'm afraid. Come now, what are you afraid of? I... I... I own a mill. I, I built it myself. The only thing I was ever good at. I will die if I have to fight. Do you have a family? A wife. I can't go out there. I can't. You haven't really got much choice. Um. You must not run. You would be hanged. But I don't know if I can do it. You must. You must. When we go to battle, Will you pray for me, Father? Sure. Of course. We'll pray for all of, of, all of, all of the I dead will. people. 
Hello. Yeah, I mean, this this new uh, book came out today. Um, you know, I'm kind of eager to check it out. So I was eager to check it out. So we're gonna see. Have a word with William. See what he says. I will spare myself. Oh, all right. He doesn't want to speak to William. Shields. Bishop of Lincoln. The men in our equipment. Let's have a word with the king. Have a word with the king. It's good stuff. There's no two ways about it. I have to go out there myself to see what's going on. My king, Ranulf's archers are only waiting for you. They know they'll be at my mercy once I've dealt with Robert the Bastard and Ranulf the traitor. I doubt they dare shoot me. Stephen, be reasonable. Henry, will the church for once shut up? We are at war. Well. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, I will go out there without getting shot in the head. Put a helmet on. I must know why they posted the archers up there today. Just for once, use your brain. Think. Yes, my king. They're going to try to get us to find out. Um, Shall we? Let's let them think first. Find a solution for the king's problems. We need to, if we find out why the archers are up there, then maybe we can. He'll talk to us and be nice to us. Um, let's have a look. So he's obviously referring to the archers up here, right? Um, Today, there's twice as many archers up there. Is that not a bad thing? I've been standing here for weeks now. Ranulph's men are probably just bored. They don't mean harm. How can you be sure? Listen. <whistles> well, that's my friend over there. I've never seen him, but we do this every day. That's how I'm sure. Okay. What? He's definitely not going to get shot in the face, not even a little bit, no, of course not. You, you see him pop out of church, he's a goner, right? But the thing is, if he dies, who's going to take his place, right? Who will take his place? Um, uh, after Lincoln Castle was taken over by the men of the Empress, Lo Empress Maud, the king lay siege to the castle. Shortly thereafter, news reached the king that Maud's half-brother is advancing on Lincoln. And while he is accompanied by a great number of Welsh forces, Stephen too is well prepared for battle. In only two days' time, the war for the English throne may finally come to an end, when the forces of Morden Stephen meet on a battlefield outside Lincoln. We kind of pray to them or something. And if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresseth you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. But who oppresses whom, my lord? Uh-huh. What? There's not really much we can do out here. We can't you can't communicate with the archers or nothing. That's a better shield than a flimsy robes of a monk. What? How can you just stand here in the face of your enemy? I have no idea if what you're talking about. If they wanted to shoot me, they'd have done it a month ago. No idea what you're talking about. If you mean like tell him to use a shield, block his face or something. We can't talk to anyone in here apart from the king. There's nothing. There's no objects in here we can really do anything with. I got no idea what it's referring to. 
Because, I mean, a clue inventory, this clue here has got nothing to do with what we're trying to do. Right, you're going to give them a solution to why... to the archers outside. And our clue does not help that at all. Let's talk to him. My king? You! What are you doing here? Have you come to atone for having your monks write that heretical book? Uh, no, my bishop. I... So you continue to doubt your bishops, your pope. Henry. How dare you show your face here? Henry! I told you I am not to be disturbed. This monk should be thrown into a cell. Maybe then he will see reason. What? Because he doubts your miracles? I have to admit, having someone walk over red-hot plowshares or putting his hand in boiling water to prove he's innocent is entertaining. I give you that. Stephen. But the monk is right, of course. There is a tendency that your miracles conveniently happen when the church needs them most. Whoever believes that to be a coincidence, or miraculous, deserves no place at my table. Uh. What is your name, monk? Uh, Philip of Gwyneth. I will make sure my brother won't arrest you. If anyone will have you arrested, it's me. My king, I have come to see you. I have no time for you. Unless you know a solution to my problem. There are archers outside, probably looking forward to killing me. But I have to see what's going on out there with my own eyes, without getting shot. If you have no solution for my problem, better not waste my time. Or I will have you arrested. Okay. Let's take a look at the castle without getting shot, yes. See, that we might better have some use for. Um, maybe we, if we show that clue to... Now we've actually got a clue, we can show the clue to folks to see what they suggest. A shield could surely stop an arrow. So Rich has got to say that. What would be the safest way to face an archer? Are you thinking of joining us in battle? <laughs> He's finally become one of us. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, of course not. It is. It's, it's in the it's in the art style. I like it. My king, you could use a shield to protect yourself. A well-directed arrow can pierce a shield, a helmet even. Then why do all these men wear helmets? <laughs> For luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Shield's not good enough. More solutions. Who else can we speak to? We can't. It's, we're not going to ask him because he doesn't give a shit. He won't talk to him. Our king's advisors believe it would be dangerous for him to stand out here in front of the archers. They're right. They are? But don't worry. They won't waste their arrows on monks and peasants. But the king would definitely be attempting targets. Would end the war in the blink of an eye. I wouldn't hesitate to shoot the bastard of Gloucester either. Alright. Okay. There we go. We'll get him to dress up like a peasant. Now, will he do it, though? Will he dress up like a scrub? I'm very glad though that, I mean, every every part of the story is, is like voice actor as well. I can imagine if it wasn't, the amount of reading involved. Um, I think it's, but any, but with a game like this, it's pretty, you say like a book might take you six hours. Of those six hours, about 
three and a half, four hours of that six hours is listening to them, t to them talk. There's so much dialogue, um, which really makes sense because it was based on like um, some uh, very, um, very heavy, uh, very famous books. If you were to dress like a poor man, not like a king or a soldier, the archers might not shoot at you. This is highly inappropriate, Philip of Gwyneth. It is. But he's right. Robert's a bastard, but his men are not without honor. Who are you again, monk? Why have you come? Yay! Uh, I'm the prior of Kingsbridge, my king. Ah, of course. The prior of Kingsbridge. Uh, I have come to ask for your help. What could be important enough to disturb the king at a time like this? Robert of Gloucester will attack in two days' time. Let us find out why he's here, shall we? Get undressed, Prior of Kingsbridge. Whoa. I guess he's going to use our robes to go outside. Um, My king. Oh dear. Don't be shy. It was your idea after all. Ranulph's men have been nervous all day. Now, why is that? It's such a simple war. And yet, they could stay holed up in my castle for another month with all these men. So why have the archers out at all? They'll be safer inside. They don't have to stand up there. Um... My king, I have done all you asked of me. Now, please, Listen to me. Of course, Monk. Uh, let me guess. You're here to ask me for help with your illegal market. What? The income was only used to support the cathedral. I did not know we needed a license. The market was held on the church's ground. The church is not above the law. This is not the Holy Roman Empire. No, of course not. Your market is illegal. I supported William in his decision to punish you. For it didn't merely pay for your cathedral. It also paid for the children of that traitor, Bartholomew. I feel responsible for them. That is why I invited them to Kingsbridge. Oh? And why is that? Because of your loyalty to Bartholomew? No! I was the one who found out that he planned to go against you. I am responsible for their father's death. William Hamley and Bishop Whaleran said you were sly. Now I think I know why. My king, you must not trust them. Hear me now. You will not receive a market license, and the children of Bartholomew will hang if they go against the Isle of Shiring. Do you understand? I understand. <sighs> of course, that's why all those archers are up there. Robert of Gloucester is not attacking in two days. He's attacking today. To arms! It's an ambush. Do not use the front entrance. <laughs> they knew that would draw us out. Get my clothes. I need my horse. Get my clothes. As Stephen and his men went to face the approaching army, his brother, Bishop Henry, urged me up to the top of the cathedral. His fear had made him forget about our dispute. He wants to push us off. I reckon he wants to push us off. I had never been that high up. We can push him up first. Pray with me, Philip. Pray that Stephen will win, so this war can end. What? I closed my him. eyes to pray. Pretend, don't do it. Pretend. I I don't know. If we'll just we'll go for peace. And I forgot about Kingsbridge, and the market, and what I wanted. I simply prayed for peace. And as I did, I realized that ever since the dream about my parents, I had not prayed. Bullshit. Oh, 
what if, as in the dream, my prayers would not be heard now? I begged the Lord to make me see. To make me see that he was there. Show me a sign! I was too far away to understand what was happening. Show me a sign. Robert's men, they're winning. Stephen is lost. Oh dear. It felt like the world was spinning under my feet. What a shame. I was afraid that I would fall. I closed my eyes. And then I saw. Come on, do we see the king die? Oh, look, what a death. What? Oh, shit. Sure. They're breaking through the church doors. No wonder they won. They have him on their side. See the truth. What is that? I knew it was us. Only us. No devil to harm us. No god to protect us. Only us. us. What book are you referring to? Philip was gone for two weeks. The book, as in the Bible? We had His no book idea what had happened novel. to him. Yes, maybe Stila. To be true, we had other things on our mind. Uh, the book is of the same Abby name. And I. Are you sure we're alone? Right now, there's only you and me. Look at that. Told you. I hope Philip and Richard are all right. Me too. Say, Jack, have you read our book? What about you? What did you think? <laughs> No, this is Philip's fault. If all this falls apart because he set up an illegal market, he alone will be responsible. I have faith in him, and so should you. Who else could save Kingsbridge if not him? <laughs> huh? Do you still remember the text? Well, do you? Well... Before me he stood, his clothing set aside. No flaw to be found in all his body. Mm -hmm. Was that poem not about a woman? Oh! <laughs> it seems I mixed that up. With what? Mm, I'm not sure. No? <laughs> They're getting it on! Oh, her shoulders and her arms. I saw and I caressed. And then her breasts, forms made to be felt and touched. I remember that part. Oh, you do? 
Yes. They're getting it on! All over the, all over Kingsbridge. How flat his belly beneath his slender waist. His legs, what form. What a perfect ass. <laughs> you made that up. So what? Don't you like my version? Oh, I like it. Uh, you're right, baby C. Williams. His delivery is not quite as smooth and as good as hers. But we're kind of alternating them so they can talk to each other, you know. Why recall each aspect? Nothing that I saw lacked perfection. As I hugged my naked body close to hers. <sighs> Jack. Yes? I love you. I love you too. I always will. Poor Alfred. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Poor Alfred. He's going to catch him. Oh my God. <laughs> Poor little Alfred. He gets to watch them. At least he got to see some. Maybe he got to see himself a boob. Did you hear him. something? No. Well, Alfred knows what is going on. It's only us, Jack. You and me. It is us. Only us. Us. Hey, Philip the Prior. Monk. That's better. Never let them see you weak. Oh, we're in a cage. Oh. Stand tall. I, I didn't realize we were in a fucking cage. What is there to look at, monk? Why do you do all this? Because I want to. No god, bloodline, or fate made me king. I took the throne. I chose to rule, and I chose to fight. And I'm not done yet. Is it worth all these lives? To best Maud? By God, yes. It's a game that I intend to win. How many died? What? How many people died in the battle? Too many. I even lost my horse. But Robert is not an animal. I'll give him that. Or we wouldn't be here. There's Richard. Richard! Don't draw attention to yourself. Not when they have you in a cage. Not if you're the king. Why am I in here? You are with us, are you not? I prayed for peace. Peace is the wait between one battle and the next. You were right about William Hamley. How so? The moment the battle took a turn for the worse, he and his men switched sides. The Earl of Shiring is fighting for Maud now, and for Robert. William oh. Hamley is only fighting for himself and for Bishop Waleran. He's over there. Thank you. Francis! Oh, Philip. What's of course. Brother? You came with your master, Earl Robert, did you not? Yes. When I heard from Bishop Henry that you were in Lincoln, I started looking. He thought you were dead. Not yet. It is good to see you, brother. Henry said you came because you need a market license. Yes. I think I know someone who can help. Oh, I'll have you released, and then we will go to Winchester. Just be patient for a moment. Good old brother what Francis. What about you? 
My loyals will make their moves. The game is not yet over. If you want peace, if you want to save the lives of the innocent, you have to give up. He's not gonna give Never. up. Never. That's the only thing I'm not good at. Then there really is no hope. So this is your brother? Hello, Empress Maud. I have heard much about you, Prior. Your brother has supported our family for many years now. And we remember those who are loyal to us. Hereby, I grant Kingsbridge the same market rights as Shiring. The same rights? The same. Thank you, my queen. Thank you. Nice. The bloodline is restored. Not long, and my son will take his rightful place here on the throne. All will be as it was. I will be a just king, as Grandfather Henry was. Peace will be restored in England. Do you have anything else you wish to tell us, Prior? No. Nothing. What? I Thank clicked you, it. Thank you, my queen. You bastard! I wasn't around the, the bishop behind them, but... God damn it! Did I not click on it quick enough? I'm sure I clicked on that. The license after the Battle of Kingsbridge. Um, currently, was, was Kingsbridge was granted market rights. That's good. The license grants Kingsbridge the same rights as sharing. Philip is able to reopen the market, but in addition, he is allowed, also allowed to hold a fleece fair. Ooh, this is a great opportunity. I definitely clicked it. You hate timers. What a thing like that. You had to read them both, and it was going so fucking quick. By the time you read them both, there wasn't much time to, to click. I wanted to rat him out. If you notice, the king's brother, um, you know, King Stephen's brother, Bishop Henry, was standing behind her. So he's obviously changing, changing sides as well, right? Um... So he has got a lot to answer for. Little bastard! Well, I got one chapter left, I think. One chapter left, I think. Timothy was intimidated by Ellen. Um, Waylon thinks Tom was killed. That's right. You dreamt of your parents and Eliana, Eliana and Richard. You learnt about the events leading up to the Battle of Lincoln, Alonzo and the night, or the night left after the quarrel. You told the victim uh, not to desert the army, but he died anyway. Of course he was going to die, but if he would have run away, he would have just died, and his family would have been in dis disgraced. You know, the king uh, made you undress and put your life at risk. Francis arranged um, for more to give you a market license. After the horrors, you saw it. You lost your faith. We did lose our faith. I, I suppose it couldn't be helped, really, but we... You know... I suppose anyone like that in, in that sort of state, in you you could lose your faith, right? 